Hi everyone, I'm Shauna Yao, CEO and Business and Personal Success Strategist at TotalGenius.net, where I help you discover your genius, which is a combination of your expertise and life experience, and build it into a profit-generating business based on your purpose. And today, I wanted to talk to you about uh, up-leveling your clients, attracting uh, the right people to you, and I want to define what, um, what higher level clients or higher quality clients really means. I often hear that term and uh, it may send off a negative vibe because you think, well, you know, uh, or people, people may read that and think, wow, you know, you're too good for me. So I want to really define what, at least to me, high quality clients mean. So high quality to me means I want to be surrounded and attract people that get me. I think it would be like banging your head against the wall to actually attract people that that don't get you. To attract people that are trying to understand you or um, you know ha- haters or whatever uh, I want to be surrounded by people who understand me the way that I speak. So I don't have to craft a message. I don't have to um, speak something that that really isn't coming from me or, you know, be professional uh, on camera. I So a higher quality to me means people that get me and people who value me and want to pay me. So I know, you know, you... Of course, you want people to pay you, but higher quality means that these people are willing to pay you. They see your value and they know, uh, regardless of price, that you have their answer. So there are two types of, of people out there, of potential clients. There are those, and people often talk about, you know, uh, persuasion marketing or convincing people. Convincing people is not then you're not speaking to people who, um, who are the high quality that you want to speak to. You should never have to, and I, I would think never want to, convince people to work with you just for the sake of money. This is about uh, having something, solving an urgent problem, having something that people need, that is unique in the category that you sell in. And so people see you as the one answer. So they're willing to pay you for it. This means that you don't have competition when you're attracting higher quality clients. These are people that uh, are your people. You know, they talk about tribes. That, that's, what, that's what they mean when they say tribes. These people really value you and they turn to you whenever they want an answer, whether they are paying you or not. So if you missed my two videos uh, in my prior days that was about um, transforming your passive audience into paying clients, you should go back and watch that. You can find them on my YouTube channel because uh, people are paying you now, regardless if you're making money or not, they're paying you with their attention. So today we're going to talk about three questions that you may not be asking yourself in order to attract these high quality clients. Number one, uh, before we get to the questions, is um, this is about understanding your value. So uh, in the bullet points um, uh, by this video, I named, you know, what what does getting paid your worth have to do with um, your ideal clients? And in actuality, it has to do with a lot. That... Uh, when you, when it, when people say you want to get paid your worth, that means that you understand your value and it's not just in the price that you charge. When you understand your value, that means that you are committed. You are committed to your business. You are committed to the thing that you're doing. Not that you have to do that the rest of your life, but you're committed to putting your voice and your stamp on what it is that you do. Getting paid your worth means that you value your opinion so that 
when you speak, when you uh, create your business, that it's positioned based on your strong convictions. It's based on things that, you know, whatever your life has led you to do. So, you know, I help people discover your genius, which is a combination of your expertise and life experience. When you put those things together strategically in your business, those things make a very um, different, uh, different business that solves an urgent problem for a specific person. This is about having a niche. So getting paid your worth means that you understand that value, you understand that you're unique, and that you're in it for the long run. So that you're not willing to um, just, you know, uh, bend over backwards to um, just to make money. You're committed, meaning that you know who you speak to, and you're committed to serving them. And then you get paid. So I'm going to tell you three questions that you need to ask to uh, yourself in order to make sure that your business is positioned correctly. Number one, uh, what, and these are all about your, your BBF, your best business friend, ideal clients. What is their secret wish? You may have heard these questions before, but I guarantee you, and especially if you've been in business a while, you probably haven't asked yourself this recently. So I actually want you to do this exercise. What is the secret wish of your ideal clients? What do they go to bed at night worrying about, thinking about? What is the main thing that they're thinking about? So like for me, you know, I'm a business strategist. So my clients are thinking, you know, uh, how, how can I get paid? How can I attract clients? Um, you know, um, why, why can I not be seen online? Why is no one liking my posts? Like those things are the things that are keeping them up at night. What are the things that your ideal clients are struggling with? The second thing is, is what are they searching for online? So I'm going to, I'm going to tell you, you may be ready to be using this app, but it's, it's kind of, it's, it's very interesting. It's a website. And so, first of all, you're, the first thing that, uh, that, that you should be looking at is Google. You know, what are they Googling? What, what questions are they asking? You know, how do I get clients? How do I make money? How do I clear my skin? When you can specifically look and see what they're searching, then read a couple of those articles. Like, skim through them. See the words that, the, that the peop, those people are using. You know, the ones at the top of the news feed, those are the ones that, uh, not news feed, but the ones at the top of the search are the ones that are the most commonly seen and read. So, you know, you should get used to their language. And there's a couple of other secrets that I teach my clients about SEO. But this, there's this, now that there's this website, and you may use it, but it's called BuzzSumo, like B-U-Z-Z-S-U-M-O. And what, what um, BuzzSumo does is that it helps you understand what is being shared online. So this is different than Google. So it, what it does is that you can, you can enter in your category topic and it shows you the most shared articles. And this is important so that, number one, you can see what is on your uh, ideal client's mind. What do they think is important? What do, you, what do they think makes them look good because they're sharing it? Those things are, are, are important. But, you know, remember, Google is number one. BuzzSumo, you, know, you could do number two. The other important thing is, is that it shows you what your competitors are sharing. So it gives you a section where you can, um, you can search what your competitors are sharing. So, like I said, you know, you don't have competition, but you, you are in a general ca- category which means that, you know, the people that are looking at you are, and, and learning from you are probably learning from other people too. And so when you can see what other people are sharing, your competitors, your competitors, when you can see what they're sharing, then you can go and develop your content strategy. So, you know, uh, you don't want to share the same things because you're different. So you can use this and position yourself 
as different. I will go into more detail for my position to sell students, but understand that that website exists and you can use it for your content strategy. The third question you need to ask yourself, and this is a very important one. At the end, I'm going to tell you to do an exercise uh, that will help you get really clear on this. But the third thing is, is if I could just fill in the blank, whatever it is that you do, then I would. That one question will help you um, discover what I call the thing behind the thing. That deep emotional thing that deep inside they may not even realize uh, is the most important thing, but deep inside they're actually um, that's that's what they want. So, you know, my clients may be saying, if I could just make money online, then first of all they would say, oh, you know, I'd be able to pay my bills, or oh, you know, I could. Um, I could go take that trip to Paris. Oh, I could. But if you keep asking, you know, if you could just, and, you know, just, if you could just make money online, deep inside, if you keep asking that question over and over again, I know for me, like my clients are asking, then I can prove myself right. I can prove that all those years of uh, working, of learning, of my expertise, that all those things that I, I, I did uh, was worthwhile. So, you know, that's the thing behind the thing. So that I can use those three questions and you can use those three questions to then understand the emotional need that your client is searching for. This is different than the, than the outward thing. So there's a common marketing phrase that's, Sell them what they want, give them what they need. So what they want is what, you know, your business is. You know, you sell, you're a business coach, you, you're a life coach, you're whatever the, you know, what it is that you do is. But what they need is the emotional connection. So you really have to understand specifically what are the words they're saying to themselves that they may not even be aware of, that that's the reason why. But, the, but they're saying it to themselves over and over again. You know, um, understanding that deep inside emotion is, it, it's like uh, you look in the mirror uh, really up close and you're trying to see your whole face, but you can't because you're so up close. That's what um, that deep feeling is for them. They've been thinking it so long, they can't actually like say it out loud. But you can say it by asking those questions. So now I want you to go and, um, you know, the most powerful thing that you can do is write a, you know, write your sales page. But I would like to suggest that you write a letter to yourself. So if your business is positioned correctly, you solve your own urgent problem. That means that uh, then you are able to connect very deeply with what your ideal client is going through because you understand it personally. You know, people often say, I'm, I'm having so much trouble with my marketing or, you know, my copywriting is disconnected. Well, um, that may be because you've lost the connection with yourself. You know, every time you go and you do a tactical thing, like a tactical thing, like, um, you know, uh, I'm going to go do a podcast. I'm going to do a Facebook Live. I'm going to write a blog post. You think that you're just putting, like, you know, basic information there. But in actuality, you're putting uh, your emotion into it. You know, you may not actively think that you are, but, it, you know, if you're actually writing the copy or speaking or those things just come out. And if you're not even aware of them, then you don't know how to strategically use it, which is why you're not attracting um, the right people to you or not getting your, pa your passive audience to pay you. This emotional connection is the thing behind the thing that will get new people to see you, that will up-level your current clients, your current audience to want to pay you. 
they're looking for an answer and you may be giving them like tactical things, do this, you know, do that, but they can Google that. So, you know, if they're not seeing the thing behind the thing, the emotional connection they need, then they're going to go buy from somebody else who may have a bigger audience and may have more influence than you. There, I said it. Sorry, did that feel like a slap upside the head? Because that's what happens is that, uh, you know, if you don't have that thing behind the thing, there is competition because then you're just selling and teaching what everyone else is doing. Then you're competing on price, not your value. And um, you just get thrown into a numbers game. So if you don't have the biggest audience, you, you uh, are struggling to, to feel visible. It's not that you're invisible. It's that you become invisible to yourself. You don't understand your own personal value and uh, you're not committed to getting it out there. So do that exercise. Write a letter to yourself as your ideal client. But remember, this is about positioning. So your positioning um, in your business means that you're posi- you, you are positioned to sell the thing that you know best about. This means that when you show up, so I'll give you an example. So, you know, I speak my mind. And so, you know, I understand not many, you know, not everybody gets me. That's okay because the people that get me, like really get me, they really understand what I'm saying. When I say committed, you know, uh, I spend a lot of time and, uh, you know, focus on, Display, expressing myself in like my images, in my copy, um, those things, not just because they're important to my ideal clients, but they're important to me because I know my value. I know what makes me shine to, me, to myself. And in fact, that's how I attract the people that value what I do. I can't tell you how often people tell me, where do you get your images? You know, I'm very lucky. I have like pretty friends and I have good resources and, you know, I have a good eye. And so those things are really important to me. They may not be why people buy from me, but it's important to me to position myself in my head as the expert that I am. Um, And, you know, I just had someone say last night, wow, you must have invested a lot in your website. And I was like, oh, I just recreated that, you know, last month. Uh, And, you know, uh, but I invested 28 years of my life learning business and marketing. (laughs) So, um, you know, your value will direct everything. It will direct who you speak to, um, how much you make, and your personal happiness. And if you don't understand your value... uh, probably all those things are going to be missing. So go and write that letter to yourself. If you'd like, come share it in the Genius Collective on Facebook. And uh, if you you haven't watched my Position to Sell uh, webinar, uh, you can find it at positioned.totalgenius.net. I fixed the broken link in the seven-day challenge. So if you want to take that, uh, you can now sign up for it. (laughs) What a concept. And, uh, and there's a free audio on the other side of that. So, uh, you know, I suggest you take some active steps. Even if you think you know it all and you've been in business for a while, I guarantee, you know, I don't know it all. Uh, you know, who, whoever you admire doesn't know it all. So go back to square one. Because especially if you have a passive audience that isn't um, paying you, chances are they've grown and you're just not selling what they need right now or speaking the words that they need to hear because you may think that they're still at square one and you've grown. So now you're just speaking you know, incongruent. Anyway, that's it. Um, have a great night, everyone. Please do this exercise whether you come share it at the Genius Collective or not. 
This is a very important step for you um, to take, not only to attract a higher quality client, but to, um, to understand your value. Can't think of a better thing. So if you would uh, do, be so kind, if you got something out of this, if you could share this uh, anywhere on Facebook. And uh, that's it. I'll talk to you guys later. Bye.